Hey guys, Len here with thepilotreport.com, and I uh, just wanted to come at you today with a big announcement. The uh, AOPA Digital Edition released today, uh, but with, with about an hour and 45 minutes ago, and I thought it was such exciting big news that I'm actually I'm bringing this to you from, uh, from the airport, as you can see outside. I'm recording this video on my cell phone, but I felt it was so important and so exciting that I wanted to bring this news to you first here. So um, I got this email just, uh, like I said, about an hour and 45 minutes ago that says uh, the AOPA Digital Edition is now available. They do offer a live demo, or you can simply uh, click here to access the 2011 edition. So I wanted to show you basically what it looks like and give you my first impressions. Uh, and again, I apologize for the lack of video quality, but as you can tell, I am at the airport here uh, at work. So. The uh, first thing you'll notice when it comes up is it's a beautiful display, and, and once again, we're on the iPad using this, so it's, it's got a nice display. The first little nuance I notice is you, you'll notice at the bottom of the page here, the entire document isn't exactly fit in Safari's browser, so, you know, I have to actually scroll up to see just a wee bit of what's left on the bottom there. One of the cool functions that I first noticed was, specifically, you'll notice here where it says uh, Northern Exposures, these are hot links, so if you actually click on the link there, it's embedded, and we'll go ahead and we'll pull up the article. Now the other thing I noticed is it felt like the, you know, overall the system was a little bit slow, and you'll see what I mean here as it's loading. Uh, it's bringing in the web page. This particular one does have video on it, and as it's loading, um, give you a little demonstration on what the page looks like, and you can see basically the speed at which it's loading here, so it is a little bit slow. Uh, mind you, I'm running off of uh, AT&T's 3G network here in the New York City area, so you can take that for what it's worth. Uh, as we load this page up, I'm going to go ahead and select this video so that we can get it populating into the browser, and uh, we'll see what happens. So, first thing I noticed, obviously, was the nice bright colors, on the, especially on the iPad screen. Everything is vibrant and uh, just a beautiful-looking beautiful looking magazine all around. Um, this is continually loading. Again, this is a demonstration of the speed here that I was commenting on earlier. Okay, so we've got, uh, actually, let's turn up the volume here. Got a little bit of video coming at us. Let's see what happens. See how fast this works. So it's pretty cool so far. I mean, you pull up an article um, by click clicking one of the hot link, the embedded hot links in the front page or any other page. Uh, this one has an embedded video on it. Hopefully, it loads for us. It'd be funny if it doesn't. So, well, it's it's taking its sweet little time here. See, so the page still hasn't loaded. And um, all right, well, let's give it a uh, we'll give it a minute and see what happens. Otherwise, I'll continue on with the demonstration. So let's see. This one here, again, you can see that the full page isn't necessarily displayed here. At the bottom, the, uh, some of the text is cut off. And so in order to view that, I have to continue scrolling. Again, it's not like a major margin error or margin issue there. It's about an inch or two that you have to scroll to see at the bottom. Um, and I mean, at this point, as you see, I, I activated that video probably about 60 seconds ago, and it's still not playing. So. Again, it could be the AT&T 3G network in the New York area, or it could be, uh, you know, just a server overload or whatever it is. So, um, at this point, I'm going to continue on since this video isn't working. We'll go ahead and hit the back button and go to the main page. So, this is, uh, this is the, fr the, the front page of the magazine. Another item it has here right on the side is this arrow button to continue and open the inside flap. So, I'll go ahead and click on that. And now the document is going to go ahead and open. And uh, well, the first thing we see here is particularly is uh, is an advertisement. Let's see what, how we get to the next page from here. Okay, I'm lost. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Okay, so what I did was I just clicked on the screen, and a menu pops up for uh, previous, next contents pages search share archives, text, and PDF. Uh, let's go ahead and go to the table of contents and see what's going on here. All right, so well, that's cool. It's, it's kind of like, it looks like a mobile website here for the table of contents. You've got the different contents on the uh, left-hand side and the page numbers on the right. 
we'll go ahead and uh, let's check out the, let's see, we'll go to the Compelling Kestrel article that was featured on the front page of the magazine. We'll see what this looks like. So here comes our article. And again, this one appears to have some embedded video in it. I'm not exactly going to try and play it uh, this time around. Well, what the heck, let's see what happens. Press the play button. The article is slowly loading sometime today. All right, and there's uh, there's the completion of the page coming up here, and today, all right, still slow, so let's continue on. I'll go ahead and click on the screen, hit uh, next, and see what comes up on the next page for this article. And there's a demonstration of the status bar, so you can see just how fast it is processing and working on the AT&T 3G network. So I press the next button, just waiting for the next uh, the page to turn here. And uh, oh, see, <clears throat> just a little bit slow. All right, well, I'm not gonna continue on anymore. I mean, you can think you guys get the basic idea of what this new magazine looks like. It's beautiful. A couple of small nuances as far as I'm concerned regarding the pages not being fully displayed in the browser where you have to scroll up and down on the bottom to get to the bottom two inches. Uh, the speed kind of bothers me a lot, but again, I, this is a demonstration over the 3G network and not over Wi-Fi, so we don't necessarily know that this is a real representative test of the, uh, the speed of the magazine. So anyway, this is uh, Len with the PilotReport.com. I wanted to bring this to you first, this late breaking news. The uh, AOPA digital edition is now available. You can sign up for either the digital edition or the print edition, or they offer you to get both for an additional $10 a month. Once again, Len with the PilotReport.com, wishing you clear skies and calm winds. Take care, everybody.